Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we want to take a look at multiplying together two rational expressions. Now remember, before we actually get to the multiplying process, we want to simplify as much as possible first. This means we are going to be checking each of these rational expressions for common terms in the top and in the bottom. Now if we take a look at our example, and we start checking for common factors in the top and bottom, it doesn't quite look like anything's going to cancel out. Well, sometimes that happens. If at all possible, you might have to factor some of these and then check to see if there's any common pieces. Notice this rational expression over here has an x squared minus 2x minus 15. I think that factors. Let's see, so what does it factor into? Well, I think it factors into an x minus 5 and an x plus 3. Let's foil these guys to, do to double check. So x times x, x squared. Outside is 3, inside is negative 5. Yep, those combine to give me the negative 2. And negative 5 times 3, negative 15. Perfect. Now notice, when you look at that piece factored, now we can actually see a common piece in the top and the bottom. Looks like I have an x minus 5 in both places. So I can go ahead and cancel that out. Alright, now as I go checking for other common terms, it looks like I don't have any. This means I can actually go ahead and carry on to the multiplying process. So up top I can multiply together these two parts and see what I get. So x times x, x squared, a negative 3x for the outside, a uh, positive 3x for the inside, and it looks like a negative 9 for my last terms. Alright, looking pretty good. Of course, also try and simplify this as much as possible by combining like terms if you can, or just checking to see if anything might cancel. So I have a negative 3 and a positive 3. Those guys are gone. And this will leave me with an x squared minus 9 in the top and an x plus 9 in the bottom. Now be careful, it may seem tempting to try and cancel out an x or, or even try and cancel out the 9s, but we can't do that. We can only cancel out factors, and factors are pieces that are being multiplied together. And as we can see, the x and the 9 are being subtracted, so they're, they're not factors. This means that our answer is actually simplified as much as it can. And we're done. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.